In this video, I will be discussing the life and works of Emil Kreppelin, a pioneer of modern psychiatry. Dr. Kreppelin was born in Mecklenburg, Germany in 1856, and this is the regional flag of Mecklenburg. He is known for his studies in genetics and psychosis. He studied medicine at the University of Leipzig. He described himself as an experimental psychiatrist, and he wrote a seminal work, Psychiatry, which was the, one of the first diagnostic manuals of psychiatry. He first started his medicine research in 1874 when he began studying at the University of Leipzig. During this time, he would listen to Wilhelm Wundt's lectures and was inspired by his experimental approach. He officially started his career as a psychiatrist in 1878 in München. He was not interested in studying the brain as many of his colleagues were, and he described himself as a psychiatrist with psychological tendencies. He used Wundt's psychological and experimental approach to study the effects of morphine, coffee, and alcohol on individual reaction times and introspection. In 1882, Kreplin actually began research with Wundt as a collaborator. In this brief correspondence between the two of them, Kreplin wrote that he wished to analyze the impact of some of the most well-known nervines, psychotropic substances such as chloral hydrate, potassium bromide, hashish, possibly also amyl nitrate, strychnine, etc., on response time, Admittedly, this is not a very original idea, but still appropriate. Wundt, who was also coming from a more cognitive perspective, wanted him to observe, in addition, the changes of decision and will times in order to dissect extremely complex alterations into their individual functional components. And it's interesting that Wundt used this word functional as he is later described in the literature as, a, as the pioneer of structuralism. During his time with Wundt, he published one of the first editions of his textbook Psychiatry in 1883, which at that time was called Psychiatry a Compendium. This textbook was one of the foundations of psychiatry and neuroscience, as it was one of the first textbooks regarding mental disease nosology, which is the classification and diagnosis of specific mental diseases. It was an order cla ordered classification of mental disorders, in which he divided mental disease into endogenous and exogenous diseases. Endogenous were those that were caused by biological factors that were outside an individual's control, such as genetics. And exogenous diseases were those that were caused particularly by environmental factors. Classification involved combinations of symptoms as well as timeline, as well as the timeline of the disease. Up to this point in the field of psychiatry, if an individual had a specific symptom, they would be diagnosed with a specific disorder based on that one symptom and with no consideration of any timeline of how long the symptoms were lasting and how much specific symptoms affected individual lives. However, Kreplin, inspired by his time as a professor of psychiatry at the University of Dorpat, where he oversaw an 80-bed mental ward, determined that diagnosis with a specific mental disease was dependent upon how long uh, the symptoms were lasting, whether they were degenerative over a period of time with no recovery or no relapse, and whether or not they interfered with a person's ability to carry out daily activities. In 1898, Kreppelin gave a lecture at Heidelberg in which he introduced one of his most well-known ideas, the Kreppelinian dichotomy. At this lecture, he explained the distinction between dementia praecox and manic depressive psychosis. Inspired by Karl Kalbaum, a Prussian psychiatrist who studied childhood psychosis, Kreppelin described the distinction between these two as one of recurrence. Manic depressive psychosis was considered a remitting affective disorder with periods of relapse, and dementia praecox, now known as schizophrenia, usually presented itself in early childhood, remained problematic throughout the course of one's life, and was usually accompanied by a slow, steady decline in mental function. In 1903, he was given the position of Professor of Psychiatry at the University of Munich. During this time, he founded the German Institute for Psychiatric Research that promoted an empirical approach to answer psychiatric questions as he discounted Freud's popular psychiatric theories as speculative. Additionally, he championed for better treatment of the mentally ill and opposed the physical abuse and persecution that they suffered. He spoke out against the deplorable asylum conditions and used his status and expertise to finance a new wing of the research institute that employed more humane standards of treatment and much improved standards of living for the mentally ill. While these facts may paint a picture of a caring moral individual, he also supported the tenets of social Darwinism as a means of purifying the human race and eliminating mental disabilities. 
Interested in his empirical approach, Alois Alzheimer collaborated with Kreppelin, and it was Kreppelin himself who coined the term Alzheimer's disease. In a nutshell, no pun intended, Kreppelin advocated for experimental approaches to answer psychiatric questions. He published one of the first diagnostic manuals for psychiatric disorders. He developed the dichotomy between mood and psychotic disorders, popularized the term dementia praecox, and developed an evidence-based classification used to treat mental disorders.